Hello and welcome to episode number 153 of AB's Ripping Wax Packs podcast coming to you from La Follette, Tennessee. I'm your host Aaron Vaughn. This is the show where we rip open a wax pack every week and discuss that year and brand of card along with the players in the pack that we open. Along the way we'll shout out some of your comments as listeners, discuss nostalgic stories about cards or players that come to mind, and spread the pure joy that comes with ripping open wax packs. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Google Podcasts, and most podcast platforms. New episodes drop every Thursday. Our email is rippingwaxpacks at gmail.com. Our Facebook page is Ripping Wax Packs. And on YouTube, just type in AV's Ripping Wax Packs to see the portion of the podcast where we rip open the pack from the podcast. We're always looking to promote veterans charities, so please contact us through one of the, our outlets, um, and we'd be happy to discuss your best way to help veterans and their families with your time or money or anything else or any other way that uh, we can try to help veterans out and their families. Um, also, please give a listen to our sister podcast, CVs Tend to Check Out. It's a music, music podcast produced by my brother Curtis and me. It comes out once a month, sharing the joy of music and helping to help listeners and hoping to help listeners discover unfamiliar bands or songs they might want to look further into. Check it out right after you listen to this podcast and like, review, and subscribe. Uh, this week, um, we're going to be looking at something called Universal Treasures. Okay, I've got a couple of these throughout my card collecting adventures. Um, seem to be a little bit too expensive for what you get in them. You can look all over online and look up um, different reviews of Universal Treasures. Some people will go as far as enough to say that they want to file a class action lawsuit against them because they're such scams. But um, anytime I've opened one of these boxes, I, I have so much fun opening them. Um, you might not get the best stuff, but you get um, cards from all different years back to 1952. From 1952, this box is 1952 to 1986. Just uh, random cards from 52 to 86. So if you have any smarts at all, you know that they're probably not going to put anything that's <clears throat> too expensive in every one. But there are chances to get certain cards. And people have gotten really good cards in these. So you just got to know what you're buying. Um, anything is like a crapshoot, you know, you never know what you're going to get and you're most of the time not going to get anything they show on the front of the box. So you'll get to see the box on the YouTube part of the podcast, but I'm just kind of reading off the box here. Um, there's also a, <clears throat> a website called Time Machine Sport Cards and you can get um, all these different types of universal treasures um, packages um, with different types of cards, football, basketball, baseball. Um, they try to get you to buy these in the hopes that you'll get like a Mickey Mantle card or uh, even a Mickey Mantle rookie or, and who knows if they're really in there, but I have seen some of these on YouTube pulled, not the 52 Mantle, but some other Mickey Mantles and different rookie cards of um, players that are really good. So um, there's some with Michael Jordan stickers, um, um, rookie stickers and rookie cards in them. You could buy trying to find those. Um, there are a couple on there that, that they did find the, at least one I saw that they found the the uh, Michael Jordan 86 Fleer rookie, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm thinking they can't put those in too many, but they do give you the um, odds um, on every one of the boxes for the most part, I, I believe. Um, and on this website, Time Machine Sports Cards, you can actually see the YouTube um, clips where they find there's a Jordan rookie, has Mantle and Jordan finds, and there's like, you know, 10, 12 of them. Um, and there are certain cases that cost or boxes that cost more than others because they have certain hits in those boxes. But um, you can find the stuff, I think, but it's really expensive. If you find it, it's like, you know, a needle in a haystack, but still fun to open. So I happen to have a Universal Treasures, Treasures uh, Halloween edition Universal Treasures baseball box. There's actually, it says four racks, rack packs per box, but I think I had bought this online and they only had one rack pack in it. And there's one in there. Um, who knows what they found in the other ones. There's probably not much in it, but I thought it'd be cool to open it to see the different cards from uh, 52 to 86, see what we get. Um, it says 2020 Halloween edition Universal Treasures baseball box, 1952 to 1986 tops, um, randomly inserted cards, uh, original vintage tops cards from 52 to 86. They want you, it says on there, find the 52 tops Mickey Mantle rookie plus other rookies and star cards. And they have... I'll show you in a minute here when we get online, but 
or I'm going to get on YouTube, but shows Hank Aaron's rookie, Pete Rose, second year card, Eddie Murray rookie, Ricky Henderson rookie, George Brett rookie. It shows these different rookies. And if you put one of those in, you know, in a case here and there, they're still going to make a lot of money on it. So it's still really fun to open. I don't care what anybody says. They think you're dumb for buying these. I don't look, I'm not looking for, if I find one of those cards, it'd be great. If not, I just love to see the 52 to 86 cards. Uh, some of them will have newer cards. Um, this box just happened to have those. It says 35 tops cards per pack uh, for rack per rack pack. Search for original tops wax packs. Um, you could also get a wax pack, I guess, in there. Uh, if you get lucky of some year from 80 to 90, a 1980 tops pack would be really cool. Uh, says guaranteed a Ken Griffey Jr. and Frank Thomas rookie in every box. So I may not get that one because I don't have all four of the rack packs, but I just thought I'd open this rack pack. It'd be pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, the junior, the Griffey Jr. tops and Frank Thomas tops rookies aren't really worth, worth that much. So it wasn't like it was much on them to put those in there. Um, it says, look for a, J a Jeter Tops rookie, one in every 10 boxes. Search for the Mantle rookie card and other great rookies and star cards from 52 to 86. So um, I would it would behoove you to look up this online just to read some comments about it. There are a ton on there. I found some threads that just totally trash this um, these people from Universal Treasures. But I, I think it's really cool. Uh, they have new products coming out all the time where they put these together. But it's just a third-party site that puts a bunch of cards together. Most of them aren't very good, but it's still cool to, to, to um, look for one of those cards. They do have them in there. It's just they're going to be, like, like I said, a needle in a haystack to find. So we're going to open up the Universal Treasures pack. I'll talk a little bit more about it when you see it here. Um, and we'll go from there. So go ahead and go over to YouTube and check this one out and see what we get from 1952 to 1986 tops. All right, here we are with the Universal Treasures um, baseball card, best vintage, vintage baseball card search in the universe, it says. I don't know if that's true, but you know how everybody is about that. So here's the front of the box. It's purple and black. This is the Halloween search. It's got some, ooh, some different uh, like bats and things on it, the actual flying bat to show you Halloween. They're putting out Halloween, but it's about all it's on there that has to do with Halloween. But I found this like online. I don't know. It was, it was a decent price to just to to open one rack pack. But it says four Universal Treasures rack packs. But I only have one in there because they had already used the other three or they sold them. Um, so it says search for autograph and game used cards. Search for vintage tops packs from 80 to 90. So if you got one of those, it would probably be one of the worst packs you could get, I'd say. But um, we're going to find out what we get. We probably just have 35 cards in here. Um, and like I said, you might think it's a scam, but I think it's really fun to open. So I'm not expecting to get a, to get a Mickey Mantle rookie. <laughs> but if, if something was really cool in there, it would be awesome. But it shows those cards in the front. You see a, like a, you know, a Sandberg rookie. I think I've done one of these before and got a Sandberg rookie, but that's not, not much from their end. It doesn't cost that much. So... Yeah, people are always looking for the, the Mantle and the Henry Aaron rookies, but you, you obviously know if you're paying a certain amount, you're not probably going to get that card. So use your common sense if you if you really think you're going to get one of these. It does show a bunch of the cards in the back, a bunch of Mantles, Clementes, um, Nolan Ryan, Eddie Matthews, 52 tops. But um, I think I've actually done one of these and got like a 59 tops, a couple of those cards. It just was a, a nobody, but it was really cool to see those. Um, it's hard to get those in any packs anymore because an actual original pack would cost so much. But so um, it says 140 vintage tops cards per box. So I'm only getting 35 of the cards because I only have um, one of the rack packs. Uh, but they're 52 to 86 tops. So um, it says a limited edition. There are 10,000 of these boxes. Um, and they're, like I said, online, there are so many different types of these boxes. Some of them have packs you get a bunch of packs in there and you might get one from 1978 or something i'm not sure exactly how it works but most of them are going to be 2000 to 2015 or or kind of crappy 86 to 91 <laughs> um packs you know from the junk wax era they're trying to get rid of them obviously but here and there they'll have something good in here so let's check it out universal treasures 35 cards so i'm opening it up and they obviously had it was sealed before you get it sealed because i've got one of these i think before sealed but you're going to have different rack packs in it so you just open it up there'd be four in there but i have one in there and i already see a, a cool robin yount card on there so 
So it shows they got the bazooka gum in there and we got some other kind of candy, body parts candy in there. Um, I see a Robin Yount 81 tops on the on the top. Pretty cool card. Got an 85 tops um, Don August United States USA baseball team card. That would be the, the year that would be Mark McGuire's rookie on that USA card. And then got a Cubs player in there. I can't really see it too well because I'm opening these up. And then on the back, Looks like I have a 1977 Wilbur Howard. It's a 77 card. Pretty cool. 78 tops. Bill Bonham card. So, you know, kind of nobodies except that Yount. It's pretty cool. Then Bill Shearer from 1984 tops there. So let's open this up. Let me grab my scissors and be careful. We're going to open these up and see what we get. Be really careful because they're pretty close to the edge. We open them up. So let me get that a little farther so it'll ruin anything else slide them out let's say here we go i get pumped at these these are fun just older cards so we got mel hall 84 tops i'll try to just tell you that the year of the card because i'm not sure that i'll know every one i know most of the tops 83 tops tommy john as for the tommy john surgery phil necro the knuckleballer 1986 tops if you look at the back of his this is a seven, this is 86 tops traded card because it's a different color it has a T next to it, 70, the number 77T for traded. But if you look at his uh, the back of his card, if you ever get a chance to look at his stats, look how many years he played. It's unbelievable. Um, Terry Felton, 83 tops. we got an A's team card, 78 tops. And the, and the corners of these are amazing. I mean, these are really good. They're, they're in really good shape. Um, there's a cool card. Steve Carlton, 1979 tops. So I'll put that one off to the side and put that in a, a um, top loader, uh, penny sleeve in a top loader. Mickey Hatcher, 1982 tops. Benny DiStefano, 1985 tops. Jimmy Sexton, 1979 tops. So see, there you're getting some cards in the 70s. Pretty cool. Look at this. This is a 1972 Phil Roof. Yeah, I know it's a, a nobody kind of, but still cool to see a 1972 tops card in there. And Bill Scherer, 1984 tops. It's the one we saw from the back of the card through the rack pack. <clears throat> All right. Next one. Let's go with the one with Robin Yell on the top. All right. So we got Robin Yell, 1981 tops. Man, great player. Unbelievable. I'll put that in a top loader. Jeff Newman, 84 tops. Arginus Salazar, I don't know if that's how you say it, 1986 Tops Traded. Um, this looks like a 77 Tops, I believe. Yeah, 1977 Tops Don Carithers. Nolan Ryan, cool, 1982. It's, it says 1981 Tops uh, highlight, but it's a 1982 card because this is what happened in 1981. So cool card there. Got another one that's pretty good. Ivan De Jesus, 1978 Tops. Pretty cool. Bobby Brown, not the singer, uh, 1982 tops. Jimmy Wynn, 1985 tops. Oh, this is cool. This is a 1966 tops. Len Gabrielson, and it has great corners and in, in good condition, man. It's excellent. Look at that, 1966 tops. So some well-conditioned cards there. It's a 66 tops. That's cool. Uh, Scott McGregor, 1980 tops. We got a Sammy Stewart, John Flynn, and Mark Corey, 1979 um, Orioles Prospects Rookies card. It's in black and white. It's weird. Um, Wilbur Howard, 1977 tops. And let's do the last section here. Cut that open. So pretty cool packs so far. I mean, if you had four of these rack packs, you already got some decent stuff. So, you know, I don't know how much these cost. I didn't look online. I think I think I might have got this one rack pack for you know thirty five bucks, forty bucks, and that's probably too expensive for it. So if you did that times four, you know, it's going to cost you one hundred twenty dollars probably for the whole thing. But if you get you know three cards from each one of those packs, and you can you get twenty bucks out of each one, you're close. You know, but. It's just the fun of opening as well. So if you don't have the money, don't buy it. Don't get mad if you don't get something. Just don't buy it if it's too expensive for you. Don August, 85 tops, USA Baseball. John Wathen, 1980 80 tops. 
Mike Schmidt, 86 tops. Yeah, not worth much, but cool. Hall of Famer, amazing player from Dayton, Ohio, I believe. I think he went to OU. Um, Gene Mock, California manager, Angels manager, uh, 1983 tops. Got another 77 tops. Ramon Hernandez here. And there's what they were talking about. We got a Frank Thomas rookie. Cool. Always a cool card. I'll put that in a, a penny sl sleeve and a top loader. Frank Thomas, rookie. Not worth a ton, but still a really car cool card to have. Great player, Hall of Fame guy. Frank Thomas, rookie. They said you'd get one in there, and we got one. Um, Rennie Martin, 1982 tops. Greg Brock, 1985 tops. Glenn Adams, 1979 tops. And Ken Boyer, manager. It's a team checklist card, 1980 of the Cardinals. 1979 card, uh, tops there. Rennie Stennett, I think these are all tops. And that Bill Bonham that was on the bottom, 1978 tops. So pretty cool. We got some um, okay cards. There are some older cards in there. That we had a Frank Thomas rookie. We had a, a Yount, 81 tops. Steve Carlton, 79 tops. A Nolan Ryan card. Uh, just pretty cool there. So the, the oldest card I think we got was a 66. So in those other packs, those other rack packs that would have come with this, because there would have been three more. There would probably be a fifty, a 1952 to 59 card in there, which is pretty cool. So remember, don't buy something if you think you're getting scammed. But if you just like to open stuff and you can afford it, it's really cool to see these cards. But don't think you're going to get anything really good. I mean, they can't put those in every box. So there are some cool things, that's, um, players in there and cool different, cool looking cards in there. But uh, I think Universal Treasures, I, I like it. It's really cool if you can afford it and want to open it up. It's really fun to do. But you're probably not going to get your worth out of it. But if you're not worried about that, it's really um, fun to open. And every older card in there had, was in really good shape. So Universal Treasures is cool. Um, don't expect to get a lot, but still fun to, to open. Um, appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, uh, let's go finish up the podcast. All right. Thanks for tuning in there. Um, I did have a, a, a comment from Curtis, my brother. He said, I forgot to send this la last week about great players I saw live. I can remember seeing Rod Crew, Nolan Ryan, and others at the old municipal stadium, but probably the best player I ever saw live multiple times was Eddie Murray, who played a few years for the Tribe towards the end of his career. Of course, I also saw Jim Tomey live a lot, too. I also saw arguably one of the best catchers ever in Pudge Rodriguez play several times when he was with the Rangers and the Tigers. His favorite, he says, is Eddie Murray. Um, my, he said, my favorite Eddie Murray story is that um, I saw him tie the game in the ninth at the tribe's first game ever at Jacobs Field uh, just a few days before his son Jake was born in 1994, um, which the tribe went on to win in the 10th inning. So that was from my brother. Yes, if you have any um, comments, haven't had a lot lately from people telling us anything about um their favorite sports memories or players they saw live. So if you can send us those in, um, we'd appreciate it. It's always cool to hear stories from you and your favorite players, but that's our main thing we're asking right now. You can send us anything in. It has to do with uh, anything in life, but um, sports or your favorite cards or um, your favorite players, but the players that you saw live that were kind of your favorite or, or stars that you saw play live, let us know about that. Just email in. Um, remember you can, uh, Get a hold of us at our email. It's rippingwaxpacks at gmail.com. And our Facebook page is Ripping Wax Packs. And on YouTube, you can just type in AV's Ripping Wax Packs to see uh, the part, part of the podcast where we rip open the pack from the podcast. And remember to check out our other podcast, CVs Tend to Check Out. It's a music podcast that comes out once a month. We're always looking to promote veterans charities. So contact us to learn more about donating to veterans and their families. And uh, with that, this has been AV's Ripping Wax Packs Podcast. This is Aaron Vaughn thanking you for tuning in. Have fun, be safe, love one another, and keep God first in your life. Have a good one.